Okay, you guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this. It's um, the top of the bra is one of the parts. It's like half of it, if you can say so. It's half of that. So I'm going to show you how to make this part. But the way I learn it is um, to go this way, like this and back, like this and back, like that. All right? But I did it different way, and then it comes out like this in the in the bottom part. So if you like to go like this, after you make one turn like this, after here, if you want to return like that, go ahead and do it. If not, then do it that way I'm going to show you. All right? We're going to begin now. So, we're going to need um, so we're going to need 25, so we chain 25, or however you call it. So we count 25 right here. Twenty-five. And we are going to make one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the fourth one, we are going to make a tall stitch like this. One, two, three. That is what I call it, tall. Okay? So, we're going to do the same thing. One in each one of the chains until we get into the last one like that so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna put this one out of the way so I can continue showing you the how I'm how am I going to do this part, okay? I put this one right here so I know I'm not going to be out of focus because when I do crochet, I go like that, like that, like crazy all over the place. So I'm sorry if that happened and, and I didn't notice, okay? Because that happened to me a lot. So... I'm going to make this one like that, like that. Okay. The only reason I'm showing you this way, you know, to be showing you the right side and the left side, the only reason is because it's the way I like it. But if you guys like it to see left and right at the same time, go ahead. You can do that. Especially if it's easy for you to do it that way. Okay. Like this. Ok. 
Okay, almost there. Read that. Read that. This one is kind of too tight. Need to loosen it up. The reason is because we're going to need to get there three tall stitches. So that is the reason need to be loosened up. So let's see. Then right here. One. Two. Three. We chain two. And we made three more on the same spot. I saw. There we have three right here and three right here. Now we're going to begin into this one right here. Getting one stitch in each one of the spaces, like right here. And this one more right here until we get to the other side. We are almost there. Like that. You notice this one is right and this one is left. That is what I was um that is what I was talking about. I was talking about right and left. The way I learned this pattern is um, right and left. But because I do not like it right and left, I'm going to show you how to do the bottom part, which is a um, different way. Making a half stitch. I call it half stitch. I have no idea if that is the right name. Because like I said, I am not a professional, so I'm calling it however I think it is. But if it isn't, sorry for that. So we get here. This is the last one over here. See, so right here, we're supposed to have 22 here, 22 here. Okay. 
22 and 3, 25. The same into this side. Twenty two over here too. All right, so this is what I'm talking about right here. The way I learn it, they turn this way. So when they do the work over here, this one turn left, and this one I'm going to crochet. This side is going to be right, and this one is going to be left. I do not like that way. So what I do is this: stitch one. And make one two three four we make four stitches in the UK right here So, what you're going to do right here, because this is what you're supposed to begin. So, right here, you do it different way. You do it like that. Like that. So, you make sure you actually want to continue from here. And then, you stitch one, two, three. 